morning. It is day three, and as you can already see, and even more so now, we got mist, which is a prelude to a day of rain. So, set off about a quarter of an hour ago. So it's about half past seven now, and make as much distance as I can before the rain starts. Is the plan. Uh, I don't really have a clear idea of where, where I'm going to aim for today because I really don't know how bad the rain's going to be and how that will affect progress. It'll either be one of those put your head down and just churn out miles sort of days or it will just be so thoroughly miserable that I won't get much done and I'll spend a lot of it sheltering. But that's fine. I'm sort of schedule-wise... I'm good. I'm comfortably within what I planned for, which is a seven and a half, eight day walk. Uh, but I've shown signs of being on track for a six day if I really push. And I think today will determine it. If I, if I do have a big day, then then I'll try and push for six because we've got good weather after this, supposedly. Uh, and if it's a bad day, it just puts me back onto eight, which is a bit more comfortable as well. So, plan for the day, apart from just surviving the rain, is to basically walk over lots of that sort of stuff. Up and down, up and down. Reminiscent of uh, a bit reminiscent of uh, doing the southwest coast path. And as soon as you got up, you've got to go down and then back up again. So, got that. Um, at the moment, subject to progress, etc., I'm planning to drop into cocking. Um, not just because of the silly name. <laughs> Um, but there's a shop there and I could do with a few snacks and it may also provide a bit of shelter um, on the way out from cocking should be a water tap um, and if I'm clever about my way in which means avoiding the main road I can check the water tap works before I come back then I know I'm, I've got water for camp um, so yeah, right, back home with it I guess, see how much we can do before it gets miserable.
down there is well the road that goes to cocking so I'd uh, pretty much decided I was going to go into cocking for supplies I've run out of chocolate which obviously is an absolute catastrophe uh, won't be able to do the walk without that uh, so I was going to go there but then uh, given the forecast and you know it's not raining at the moment but I'm expecting it to and this spitting uh, and given my legs I had this idea of stopping at the uh, at the farm just just right on the way to uh, maybe camp there for half day and I should be absolutely on it tomorrow then uh, so I think I might give that a go actually uh, I was a bit worried they might not be open yet it's uh, the guidebook says Easter but I am working on an older version of the guidebook so uh, their own website says they're open for March so uh, there's no frill sort of campsite so I'm not expecting to have any company Hello. So hopefully I'll be able to uh, stop there. I think that would be quite nice actually. Uh, it feels worth worth the tenner for a rest and avoid the worst weather. That sounds like an absolute bargain to me. So uh, yeah, I'm not going to make a six day schedule. So actually, I need to lose some lose some time somewhere. So I think it's a good plan. Probably find they're not open now. The other issue is the website says you can book in from three, and it's only just after ten. So we'll see how we go. They may be a bit flexible. That's uh, given I'm probably the only one. But I'll give it a go. Let's have a look. Right, I'll leave it to chance. Just find the farm. Just to check they're open, and they are. Which is good. And arriving early is not a problem. So, uh, that's it. Decision made. So all I've got to do is get down there. So, there's a... Hillcock Cottage, you can't quite see it from here, but that's down there at the bottom, and then there's the A286, and then that sort of long line of buildings halfway up that hill. That's the farm. So get there, get the tent up, get everything dry under undercover, and then a nice cup of tea and then walk into the village and get some food. Job done. Nice. So you don't see this every day on the downs, north or south. So this is a chalk boulder. Uh, it's actually an artwork, although you could easily think it's completely natural. Maybe it is natural, but uh, it's part of a set of, I don't know, I think it's 12, by an artist. Uh, I can't remember what to, who off the top of my head, so I'll put it on the screen. But uh, this is the only one on the South Downs Way, the rest are elsewhere on the South Downs. Well, as you can see, campsite sorted. So, got the tent up, 
just started spitting with rain as I was unpacking so that's good so uh, yeah now just uh, heading down to cocking for uh, some supplies so that should be good so it's only what's the time let's have a look uh, half past 11 half past 11 I'll finish for the day ridiculous but you know that's one of the joys of having no fixed accommodation bookings you can make it up as you go and there isn't a single bit of me that that thinks it was a bad idea to stop so you know hopefully it'll be it's the right timing you know it's day three of the walk i always sort of tend to find day four onwards i'm rearing to go so nice little rest should be good right so now the order of the day is food so well not just food toiletries so i uh i didn't have any small tubes of toothpaste when i was packing Whoa. it's slippery down here um so i took some of those um tablet things and whilst my teeth feel all right um i don't really like them so i'm gonna get some actual toothpaste um which will be a bit of a luxury um i think i might already have said i am out of chocolate um you know which is basically essential <laughs> um, it's for me I seem to be unable to camp without having some chocolate uh, I'm a bit low on snacks generally and I uh, well we'll see what they've got but I came prepared to cook not just pour water on dehydrated food but actually cook so I've got a frying pan with me and I've got some butter so I've got the I've got the essentials to cook to fry uh, to make sandwiches all that sort of thing so uh, the sort of an approach I want to use on the TGO this year is less reliance on dehydrated stuff because uh, that, that basically means end your parcels and that sort of stuff uh, and to live off well not so much the land but what I find on route try and do that a bit more so this is very much a uh, sort of practice run at that sort of type of provisioning uh, so because the interesting thing is you know, I'm not really carrying any more stuff than I would on a longer walk. Um, I'm planning to take a slightly bigger pack on longer walk so that I can fit in more bulky food. Things that you don't want to squash like bread and crisps and maybe even some fruit and veg. Wow. So yeah, so, um, so today I want something for lunch. If they got some nice fresh bread, that'd be fantastic. Uh, make myself some, some rolls or something. And, oh, I fancy cooking some meat for dinner. So, yeah, maybe, maybe burgers, sausages, bacon, something like that. You know, if now's not the time to do that, I don't know when is. So, uh, we'll see what the shop's got. Um, it's supposed to be a decent little shop, but I believe the emphasis is on little, so we'll see what they got. Gnarly old track this. Already slipped a couple of times. Looks like I'm going about to again. 
Oh, here's one, two. Yuck. Might have gone a bit mad. It's uh, cost enough. As you can hear, it's still raining, but dinner time, and tonight we have. Sausages, rolls, beer, and in the morning we have bacon and rolls, and orange juice, and also got some pastries tucked away as well. So uh, it's nice to have some proper food.